In today's world, so many of us struggle with busyness and stress. An incapacity to focus on the task at hand. One of the things that's really resonated with me, I'm taking a mindfulness course now, and um, one of the instructors described how we exist a lot either in the past or in the future. Right. So we're thinking about what's happened in the past, and, or we're just worrying about what's going to happen in the future. We're worried about it, we're, we're planning for it, we're stressing about it, and um, all of that takes away from us just being and living in our lives in the moment. And I think um, that is useful for all of us. You know, I think that's a really shared common experience of all people. That Mindfulness offers an antidote to many of these challenges. Mindfulness is paying attention to the present moment without rejecting or attaching. Non-judgmental present moment awareness. Today, mindfulness is being used in hospitals, schools, community centers, religious organizations, and more. It's being practiced almost everywhere. Um, I also had a little boy, a pretty little boy, six-year-old, um, come up to my office yesterday. He was really struggling with his self-regulation. Um, so he'd come in, very worked up, <clears throat> was feeling very unsuccessful in the classroom, um, up and down out of his seat, calling out, getting a lot of, um, I think his experience was having a lot of failures um, in the classroom, getting a lot of redirection. And I came down and brought him to my office and just to help him reset. And we actually did more of a, a movement meditation because he's someone who needs to move a lot. And so we just got into our body and we stretched and um, we did jumping jacks and then we took deep breaths after we exercised. And um, and that was very helpful um, for him. And so with kids, I think it can look a little bit different. It's not always sitting and being quiet. You know, mm -hmm. there can be movement um, and there can be you know, expending of energy, but it's all about just being in the moment and um, and being present. And I think, kind of like for this first grader, being able to re reset ourselves like over and over again. We practice in order to increase our capacity to be intimate and connected with a wider array of life. Paying too much attention to the past or the future reduces that life force. Worry and distraction reduce that life force. Paying attention to life as it is empowers you to make the most of the miraculous life you have. You are warmly invited to come by the Unitarian Society of Germantown to meditate with us Thursday evenings at 5.30 and Sunday mornings at 9.15 a.m.